Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a Sims Free Play house design. This is what I would call the stone house just because the outside is stone as you can see. And let's go inside! <laughs> Sounds good. I like the look of it from the outside and I do think that stone on the outside as well as you've got it here on the inside mm -hmm. just looks really stylish and modern. Yeah, I haven't used this stone in a while. I have previously in other houses like just really like the design and I like a green roof on top of it too but it's been a while so I figured I would bring it back. So here is the front door and it goes into a huge open plan living kitchen dining room so the living room space is right here. You have this L-shaped couch in front of a really big TV, aquarium with guitar, cool. coffee table. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that looks like a really nice living space. Mm -hmm. And then right in the same open plan zone, yeah. we have a dining area. Yep. With a nice rug to kind of section off that space. Yeah. I liked it also because the rug provides some contrast in the red. And it's a bit of a formal, like, I think it came from like the medieval stuff when you build the, uh, what is it, the wizard's cottage, mm -hmm. which I think is a prize for one of the Saved by the Spell quests or something like that. And the green rug also came with that, and I just thought they looked nice as counters to each other in this otherwise same color looking space, like monochrome looking space, yeah. like the walls and the floor are very similar, so rugs are always nice to accent that off. Exactly. We have French doors at the back to get out onto the patio, mm -hmm. and we have a nice U-shaped wraparound kitchen. Yeah. So the kitchen has got, in keeping with the stone, marble countertops. Mm -hmm. and Very fancy. Over here you have the chocolate making stand. Oh. Yeah, which I just kind of felt... We should get one of those in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. This came from, I think, the Easter 2016 update, and I'm not sure if it was a limited time object or not, but I think it is like an added hobby to the game. And I just felt like the top of that really matches the marble counter, so I like the idea of this being a workspace in addition to the counter space that you get. That makes sense. And we have a side door I see between the living room and the kitchen, mm -hmm. and there's some stairs down there to the basement which we'll look at I guess once we finish the first floor. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you get down this hallway here to the bedrooms, and off the hallway here is one bathroom. That's nice, with a double vanity sink. Mm -hmm. And then across the way is a smaller room. I guess technically this would be a three-bedroom house, but the sim who lives here is using this bedroom for an office. I like that setup though, with the dual monitor, massive computer, and then a sofa behind. Yeah. So. Maybe somebody is working on a computer or playing video games on the computer yeah. and somebody could be sitting on the couch behind them, relaxing, reading or whatever. <laughs> or, or watching them play games, like watching them play <laughs> through the later, the last GTA level or Fallout game. Yeah, or the person who's working on the computer just wants to take a break from the computer and have a yeah. nap on the couch or something. True, very yeah. true. And down at the end of the hallway there's this other bedroom. I would say this is probably for like guests to come and stay, so the color palette is not too exciting, it's not too personal, but there is a suitcase in the corner for the guest. And then at the very, very end of the hall is the master bedroom, and this is decorated in a bit of a Japanese style, so using the Japanese bed and the paintings here. But I went for, instead of the typical Japanese bedstand or bedside tables, I went for these, which also come from that wizard, wizard cottage. Yeah. Yeah. And That's really nice. And oh, they have an ensuite bathroom as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. With just a shower and another double vanity. Yeah, it's a bit smaller. I feel like the Sims who live here, maybe they don't care so much about using the tub, but if they just want a quick shower, they can do that. Now, I didn't go into too much detail before about the outside patio, but here it is. I kind of think of this as more of a deck, so it's all okay. wood, and there's space for the dog to hang out. <laughs> Yeah, space for looking at the stars, grilling, a place to eat, mm -hmm. and also we have yeah just some very beautiful flowers, and there's a gate there to get out into the yard proper, Yep. 
where there's some vegetable patches. Yep. Gardening patches, a essential in Sims free play. Mm -hmm. And I like these uh, red lanterns that came from the Lunar New Year. Yeah, although just a few days ago, at the time of this recording, they were briefly added back to the game, oh, cool. so I picked up a few more. It's always a good idea if you see in your home store something has appeared that is not normally there, it's probably a limited time object, and it's a good idea to snatch up a lot of them if you possibly can. So, let's take this staircase down to the basement. It's a little bit unusual to have that staircase there out in the middle of things. I generally don't like to have a staircase in the middle of living space. I like it to be, especially if it's going down to a basement, I like it to be in a special hallway or room of its own. But this house is a house that we are familiar with in real life, and so yeah. I that's think it why. works as well, because if you had it as a room, mm -hmm. uh, or if you had it separated them, then it would just be a lot of walls, whereas this way you can yeah. look from the kitchen sink all the way to the TV or the front door, because there's no walls in the way at all. Yep. So I think it works nicely. That's what I was going for. Mm -hmm. So down here we have a few different rooms going on. So this room, this is more of a like storage and utility room, so you can use it for woodworking or uh, storing your junk, but then there's also the hot water heater that services the whole house. Off to the left of that, you have a little passageway to get to the laundry room here. Mm -hmm. And that is next to the bathroom here, or just a small powder room here. I've said this before, but I feel like real houses, you generally find that bathrooms and laundry rooms share similar zones in the house because plumbing tends to want to... it's more efficient for it to be all together rather than... It's certainly, yeah. Yeah. Certainly I think with older houses, brand new, maybe it's a little bit different, but older houses, the plumbing's already there. Mm -hmm. You can just turn the plumbing that was going to the sink for the washing or the washing machine, add a little extension, and you've got your half bathroom. <laughs> yeah, which is probably what these Sims did. <laughs> so then, off the end of the staircase going this way, you get to wow. an exercise room. Oh, okay. Yep. And... <laughs> With a little fridge there as well for stocking up on water and a fan. Yeah. I would like this as an exercise room, I'll tell you. I mean, I think this is like my standard layout for an exercise room. Like, I usually have the bike, which comes as a prize for completing the senior's hobby, the weights, which were added to the game at a certain level, I think, and mirrors so that you can, like, look at yourself in the mirror, and a TV because I always need distraction when I'm exercising refrigerator for refreshments, and a fan because you get hot and sweaty. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want exercise but just want to be quiet, Ooh. there's another room here and this is like a little meditation room. Look at that. That is a great idea. Mm. You've got these beautiful, relaxing nature paintings on all the walls. Yeah. And in the middle, just a little bit of soft lighting and yeah. a sort of tatami mat with this meditation stool. Yeah. Which... Burning incense and candles. <laughs> And this came from the spa event, which was a limited time event in the game a while back. I can't remember where the these came from. I think maybe the urban furniture yeah, event. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. But I don't really use them that often in decorating. I thought, why not have them be in the meditation room and just be like a nice, yeah, nature-y kind of surround for whoever's meditating down there. Maybe they're playing nature sounds on a stereo yes. or something. Yeah. <laughs> So that is the house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tour of it. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play videos on the way. Thanks for watching.